this is in LaBranch. Mm -hmm. when, when we did this, uh, and this has been almost 20 years now, um, when I came here in the 50s, there was nothing but Rosa Cane along the shoreline. Mm -hmm. And that was holding the shoreline together. So you were only losing about two or three foot a year. Mm -hmm. In other words, they had such an extensive root system. But once they built this uh, interstate through there, the salt water started coming in and out, and it just, it, it was a disaster. In other words, they didn't give a damn about the, you know, the wetlands. And they put up, um, when they finished hauling, all that stuff was uh, built across the lake. Mm -hmm. In other words, at Madison, Mandeville, and they barged it in. So what they did, and, and I'll show you on the maps that I have, uh, you know, they explained it a little better. Mm -hmm. They came on in and they dug canals, and then they dug one clean across and uh, both sides of the of pipeline canal because because of all the pipelines, they couldn't disturb that. So they came in through uh, the Norco side, and they branched off through Bayula Branch into the spillway, and then they came up to the pipeline canal and dug another canal from the lake going to, you know, and they teed off from there coming up to the pipeline canal and going to the parish line canal. Mm -hmm. And once they did, uh, didn't take into consideration uh, when they completed the project to close it off. Well, they didn't even take into consideration that it was losing two or three foot a year. They put it right on the shoreline. It didn't last six months. In other words, we recessed this thing further up the canal, but naturally, and, and these are wing walls up to the structure, well naturally the, the shoreline is just completely eroding and it's within, uh, I'd say 100 feet, you know, of the structure now. But we would have had it done, we had an eight and a half million dollars uh, coastal restoration money to finish up just like this, we're going to put rocks on it. Mm -hmm. And Monteleon, and I'm working with Monteleon. Monteleon owns the St. Charles Land Syndicate. And uh, Monteleon, you said? Yeah, yeah. Owns the St. Charles Land Syndicate. Right. He's the Monteleon Hotel people. So uh, the, the state and the feds had, had agreed, uh, you know, there was, so uh, the state wanted to reclaim some of that land. They wanted to put it out in the shore and out in the, in the lake a little bit and reclaim some land. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think that was a good idea because we had already done this project and it was working. So uh, it, we finally went on ahead and I told Mr. Modeling on one day and I was talking to him. I said, man, you're just going to kill this project. I said, you know, oh no. And, and we succeeded in getting the, the, the state and the feds to go back to doing what we had because it was a proven case. Mm -hmm. Well then he started bringing up we were going to build some uh, dikes uh, inside the spillway. What did they call them? Uh, oh God. They were going to dike areas inside to kind of stop the reach. Uh, oh man, what the terracing. They were going to do some terracing, terracing project. Well then he started having trouble, you know, uh, finding fault with that and I told him one day I said man you're just gonna kill it oh no Mr. Cohen we like we, you know we, we, we're just trying to work it out well what we didn't know was that we were being used and they came on up when they got their proposal for the airport they put oh, it on the this. table and the feds and the state pulled out eight and a half million dollars so consequently you know we would have had all of this done this way